I'm filming this with a DJI Pocket 3, recording audio with DJI mic, and in about a week, I might be cleaning my floor with DJI Robot Vacuum. DJI is officially in its We Do It All era, and things are about to get spicy. On July 23, they quietly dropped a teaser for what's gonna be their first ever Robot Vacuum, launching August 6. Then on July 24, another one, this time for a new panoramic camera that went live on July 31st. Two new categories, back-to-back -back announcement. DJI is clearly expanding its footprints way beyond just drums and cameras, and this ain't just hype. The robot vacuum teaser lights up with months of rumor, leaky patterns, and even job listings pointing to a serial rush into small home hardware. So yeah, Insta360 might notice the camera thing, but if you are in the robot vacuum game right now, you should be sweating. Because DJI doesn't enter a market just for fun. They usually show up with solid hardware, decent software, and a roadmap to take a chunk of the market share. But at the same time, this market is way more mature than drums were back in 2013. So if they don't bring something generally better or at least different, this could also be their first misstep. All right, enough of my crazy ideas about flying vacuums. Let's get real and talk about what we actually know about this new challenger on the block, the DJI Romo. First thing first, the release date is locked in for August 6th, Beijing time. That's right, in just a few days, the official wraps are coming off. The initial announcements were on Chinese social media, so it's likely a Chinese first launch, but uh, I got a gut feeling it's not gonna be too long before it hits the US market. This company don't spend four years on a project just to keep it in one country. And speaking of the design, the leaks show something pretty unique. The Romo has a transparent top cover and so does its charging dock. It's a bold look that really makes it stand out from the crowd of identical looking robot vacuums. But here's the kicker. Rumor has it there will be three versions. A standard module, an advanced module, and a flagship module. And if the rumors are real, only the flagship module will get that sweet transparent design. Now for the big question, what can it actually do? It's a two-in-one vacuum and mop, which is pretty standard for high-end modules this day. But what's not standard is the rumor tag. Rumor has it that DJI is skipping traditional LiDAR in favor of a front-facing visual system for navigation. We are talking about a company that built its reputation on making drums that can fly through obstacles. If they can put that same kind of smocks into a robot vacuum, it could have some of the best optical avoidance we have ever seen. Leaks also point to six deep sensors for advanced optical detection. This is actually uh, the kind of stuff you would hope for from DJI years or R&D. Uh, and also the mopping module. It looks like it's using the classic uh, disc-shaped rotating pad, not the roller brush design you see on some other cleaners. Now while those roller brush might be great for wet and dry vacuum, on the robot vacuum, those spinning discs are actually the way to go. Oh, and here's a fun little debate. Some sources are saying that this is actually DJI's second attempt at the robot vacuum. The first one was apparently X internally. So if this is their do-over, you know they would probably uh, iron out some serious kinks. And let's not forget the dock. It's got an auto dust collection feature with a bag that can hold two months. Pretty decent for me. So what's the deal with the price? Leaks suggest it might land somewhere around 4,000 yuan which puts it squarely in the premium market. This thing isn't here to play nice with the budget models. It's coming to compete with the uh, flagship offerings from Rubber Rocks, Dreamy, and uh, Ecovas. But to understand why that's a big deal, you got to understand how DJI got to where they are. Back to the mid 2000s, drums are basically overpriced RC helicopters with the stability of a drunk flamingo. Flying one took actual skill. You would trust most of the time. And DJI came in and said, what if we made this ideal proof? And they actually did it. They started with flight controllers. The brains that keep a drum in the air without flipping into a tree and kept building better sensors, motor stabilization, real-time video feeds. By the time the Phantom series dropped, it was like, hey, this thing practically flies itself. And that's the thing with DJI. 
they don't just make gadgets. They define entire categories when everyone else was hacking together open source drum kit, DJI built a close, tidy, integrated system. They control the hardware, the firmware, the software, the app, even the freaking transmission protocol. It's like if Tesla made the battery, the motor, the charging cable, and the roll. Then came the pivot. Once they nailed flying cameras, they realized, wait a second, why stop at the air? What if we can bring this same tech down to earth? Enter the Osmo, Pocket, and Action series. Gear that made high-end stabilization and crisp footage, something you could fit in a backpack. Vloggers, solo filmmakers, even pros starting ditching DSLRs for DJI rigs because they were lighter, faster, and didn't require a second operator. They turned hardcore imaging tech into creator tools, and creators love tools that just worked. Now flash forward to today. DJI has a huge presence in drums, but robot vacuums? That's a different beast. The robot vacuum industry is, well, let's just say crowded. You got Roborock, Dreamy, Equivus, iRobot, all pumping up yearly models with better suction, better lidar, better dogs. The text has matured. Like most decent vac today can navigate your apartment, avoid your slippers, and go home to charge without breaking a sweat. So you would think what's left to innovate? Here's where DJI comes in. This company has been solving far more complex navigation problems in 3D place for over a decade. Think about it, their drums don't just fly. They avoid trees, paralyze, birds, and find their way back home when your phone dies. Now imagine taking that same kind of tag, motive sensor fusion, SLAM algorithms, object recognition, and putting all that inside something that vacuums your floor. That's not just a spec bomb. That's like upgrading from Roomba to R2D2. DJI's concept vacuum Romo already hints at what's coming. Transparent dock, curved profile, vision sensors up front. It doesn't look like something that sits quietly in the corner. It looks like it belongs on the bridge of a spaceship. And look, DJI hasn't always nailed it on the first try. The early Phantom drums had firmware issues, wear geofencing limits, GPS drift, it wasn't all roses. There were even privacy concerns and some very intense reverse engineering reports from MIT trying to figure out what these things were doing under the hood. But here's the thing, DJI listened, eventually. And when they iterate, they iterate hard. Every version gets cleaner, faster, and smarter. They don't throw stuff out and start over, they refine. And in an industry where most robot vacuums feel like slightly better versions of last year's models, that's exactly the kind of disruption that might make people pay attention again. So if you're wondering why a drone company suddenly wants to clean your floor, well, DJI doesn't just trace chance. They build ecosystem. They turn good enough categories into great experience. So if they bring even half the engineering into flying robots, into ground level home automation, this entire space is about to get a serious wake up call. DJI getting into robot vacuums is cool. Unexpected, definitely. Promising, for sure. But let's be honest here, there's a long list of things that users are still frustrated with in this category. And if DJI cannot crack those, Romo might end up being their first flop. Yeah, air vision is everywhere now, and some vacuums do a decent job dodging sucks and cables. But ask any real world user, these things still get stuck all the time. DJI has the tech to change that. These are the people who make drums that can wave through forests. But if Romo can avoid everyday messes on the floor, it's just another overpromised small robot. Then there's mopping. A lot of high-end bots claim to mop, but what they actually do is wipe, like a cat licking a glass. Dry sauce, grease, pet prints, still your problem. People are hoping DJI comes in with pressure sensor, dynamic pressure control, and maybe some real scrubbing action. But if the mop ends up being a glorified wafer, yeah, that's a miss. Now let's talk about adaptability. Most robots that clean in rigid Z patterns and panic when your furniture layouts change. But humans live here and floor will be always chaotic. Unless Romo can adapt and I mean truly learn and adjust in the flight, it's not solving anything new and people will notice. Also maintenance, users are tired of having to babysit their small vacuums. 
empty the bin, untangle the roller, wash the mod pads, and clear the error message from the app. If DJI nails the full dock system with auto empty, auto wash, and long term reliability, great. But it becomes one more half baked ecosystem with expensive consumables, it's not innovation, it's a headache. And finally, software. DJI is known for good apps in drum war, but the bar is way more higher in smart home space. People expect reliable mapping, clear customization, and firmware updates that don't break stuff. One buggy rollup and yeah, Reddit is gonna have a field day. The question is, can DJI translate its world-class navigation tag into the cleaning power we actually need? The answer is coming soon. That will be all for this video. See you next time.